Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be putting on my face all of the new makeup I have been loving lately. A lot of this makeup I bought and reviewed during the month of February and today I'm combining a whole bunch of products that I mentioned in different videos that I really loved and we are putting them together on my face. I feel like there's even more products that I love this month but I can't put them all of my face at once. So I have a really good selection in front of me of all of the products that I loved most during the month of February and we are going to go to town starting with eyebrows, which I never do. So I tried the Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit this month and I was very surprised to find out that this actually works on my brows and I always have the most difficult time finding products that actually lift my brows and surprisingly, this does. So I'm going to lift my brows as my first step and make them nice and fluffy to then fill them. I definitely do use a lot of this product on my brows so that they stay in place, but the convenience of this one is that I don't have to carry like a separate brush or anything, which I always do have to have with my Anastasia Brow Wiz, which the Brow Wiz is still my favorite. I think that's definitely the most reliable, but just look at how this lifted my brows. I think it looks really nice. Because I have thick brow hairs, though I have to comb back my hair and like make them very crazy looking, to then lift so that I can have a lot of product on my brows, as I said. But I'm honestly just happy and surprised that this works on my eyebrows at all. <laughs> I guess my point is that I do have very thick and dark brows, I have a lot of them, and they grow pointing down to the ground. So if this lifts my eyebrows, it'll do an absolutely phenomenal job on anybody else's. <laughs> Take a look, the brows are lifted, and let me get you a little closer to my face. Here we go. So so take a look, the brows are lifted and I'm going to use this next. This is the Moira Precision Brow Pencil I tried this month and this was only I think like $6 or something like that and it's very very natural looking. It fills in my eyebrows with no issues and of course extremely affordable. So I did really enjoy using this one as well and I'm going to use it today to fill my eyebrows with. So I'm just tracing the underside of my brow and then I'm going to fill them in. A lot of the products I tried in my Moira Cosmetics video were fantastic and I could have used a lot more today, but I didn't want to just do another Moira Cosmetics face. So I pulled a variety of products that I love, but if you want really amazing, truly affordable makeup, definitely check out that Moira Cosmetics video I uploaded because I found a lot of new products that are bomb. The brows are filled, let's move on to some eye makeup and I'm not going to use an eyeshadow base, but I am going to use a bit of concealer on my eyelids up here as an eyeshadow base so that the eyeshadow has something to kind of grab onto. This is the Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay, which I'll also be using underneath my eyes afterwards, but I wanted to put it on my eyelids first because I want to do my eyeshadow, make sure there's no fallout or anything, and then we'll do my complexion afterwards. For an eyeshadow palette, I was debating between two of my favorite palettes I tried this month, the Audence Eye and Lauren May palette, the Sea Talk palette, but I already gave you a lot of content on that one. So I picked my other favorite of the month, which is this one here from Miss Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath Velvet Liaison palette and I love it. It is an all matte palette that Pat gave us and it has an amazing formula but also a really good variety of matte shades in there. All very like neutral, natural looking. Honestly just shades that I know I'm going to grab for all the time and so I absolutely love this one. And I'm not going to do an all matte look today because I'll be combining this one with something else that I'm very excited about, so yeah. I started by blending Barely Veiled on the crease of my eye with a rougher number 15 and I'm just blending it out. So I'm buffing and blending that color all throughout the crease of my eye, creating a really nice natural base. And with a smaller blending brush, I'm going into this purpley shade here and I'm going to start building it on the outer corner of my eye by tapping it in place and then from there, I'm blending it into my crease as well. I really love this shade from this palette. It gives a lot of depth and it has the perfect 
cool toned undertone it's so pretty i dipped back into that color just to build it up and intensify things a little bit and i'm just patting with my brush on the outer v of the eye here so that it blends nicely into what we already did so with only those two matte shades look at how much intensity everything has and how beautifully it blended on the eyelid i am going to use a shimmer from Moira Cosmetics. This is the Diamond Days Liquid Shadow. I have it in the shade Regal. This is such a good liquid eyeshadow. I cannot even deal. And I am just going to put it all over my eyelid and blend it into my matte shades. I love the way that looks so much. Same thing over on this side. I'm going to just blend that shimmer with the applicator. The applicator actually works super good for this. And I'm just going to tap the back edge on both sides with my finger so that it blends even better into the mattes. I'm applying a little bit more because I want this to definitely look spectacular. And I'm going to let it dry before I open my eyes because I don't want it to crease. I want it to dry and I want it to look this kind of like flawless. I think the shimmer is dry and I'm going back with a bit more of my dark matte shade and I'm going to re kind of intensify the outer corner and then just tap over the shimmer ever so slightly so that the two textures mix together back here. So I am patting my matte color on, blending it into my crease and then patting it over the shimmer a bit so that the textures mix nicely into one another. Okay, so this simple but beautiful thing right here is the top of my eyes and we can now get into complexion. I already have my moisturizer on, my sunscreen on, all of that. So first thing I have to do is prime my face. Wait, I hadn't done my eye cream in case I had fallout, but I really didn't have any fallout, so eye cream is going on. Everything is of course listed down in the description box so if you want to know anything that I'm using or if you want to purchase any of the products I'm talking about please shop my links in the description box. So all of the skincare is now for real on and the primer that I've been loving and that I'm totally going to use is this one right here the rich bitch primer that i tried the other day this primer has been amazing and i tried it i think it was yesterday under my gucci foundation and my gucci foundation um at first wore a little bit dry looking on me with this primer underneath it i could not see the dryness anywhere so if you are interested in a truly hydrating primer that you can wear underneath foundations to make them not look dry on you anymore this might just be the thing right here um still very slimy <laughs> but it literally looks so good on my face and it looked so good under that gucci foundation the other day which is not the foundation i'm going to put on today because i want to talk about another one but that gucci foundation on my review video it didn't look terrible but i could see a couple of areas where it looked a little drier than i would like and with this primer underneath yesterday i couldn't see any dryness anywhere so, so this slimy primer definitely the bomb i don't know that this would work for anyone that doesn't have normal or dry skin if you have combination or oily probably not i don't think so because i feel like it could make you look very oily if you don't have normal or dry skin but obviously i having dry skin I love it. I'm obsessed. So let's go on with the foundation I want to use today, which is this one from Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation. I tried this one the other day. I remember that I loved applying it with a brush and it is a beautiful medium coverage foundation. I switched my shade. I now have um, the shade 2N1 Cashew and I like this shade better on me. So I'm blending it out with my It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. And as you can see, it is covering all of my redness. And this color looks so much better on me than the other color I had. My camera died and I had to finish blending my foundation. This is the way it's looking. Look at how natural this looks on my face. I can still see a little bit of redness, but that can be corrected with the concealer I'm going to put on top. And this is not the only foundation I'll be using today. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But I love how natural this looks. If you're looking for a truly natural looking foundation, I do highly recommend this new one from Laura Mercier because it looks like glowy, beautiful skin. I had never tried it on top of the very hydrating primer 
so I do feel like I look a bit extra glowy because the foundation is already on the glowy side but we're going to keep going because like I said we have more steps to go there's more products that I have been absolutely in love with lately that um, are going to make this a very full glam makeup look even though my foundation is a medium coverage one <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to clean my lips and I'm going to use my YSL clear lip glaze to hydrate them. To color correct my under eyes, I'm going to use this peach color corrector from e.l.f. This one, very affordable as well. I think I tried it at the beginning of the month and I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to blend that in place with my sponge. Just tapping it right here. And back to the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. I'm going to brighten the center of my face with this one. Once again, blending it in with the sponge. This concealer is awesome. It applies evenly. It's got a thin texture to it. And it has a ton of coverage, so I've honestly been loving it. I'm going to reach for something else now that I have been reaching for a lot this month, and it's not a new product, but I've been using it now more than ever, and I've had it for months, and that is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush um, Flawless, I think it's called, on dry setting powder. With my Wayne number no. 3 brush, I'm just going to dab a little bit of this on my under eyes. I don't know why, but I feel like I have new appreciation for this one. I really love how brightening it is. I know I'm doing the most today, but I honestly have been loving all of these products and I wanted to try them together. So the next step is the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, which I've only ever used on its own so far, but I'm going to use it on top of other products today and see how I like it. So this is why I was saying to not worry about the redness right there because I knew that I was going to go on with another product I've been really liking that would definitely cover that. And not only cover that, but this foundation has been the best at like hiding my pores, making them non-existent. And I figured I would really love it when used in combination with other more natural looking foundations and having different products underneath so that's what we're trying today if you have trouble keeping foundation on your nose setting it with a powder foundation like this one might be a good option and let me do a little bit on the forehead as well i really love the little sponge that they released the foundation with i feel like it works wonders <laughs> take a closer look right here at how absolutely incredible this is looking I love it. And before I keep going with my complexion, I want to finish up my eyes. So I'm going to just grab a rougher number 13 in my dark color. And I'm going to just smudge it right underneath the outer half of my under eye. Connecting it right here at the end with the top. And then back with my transition shade. We're going to buff everything out. And I'm taking this one all the way to the tear duct area. The under eye is blended and I'm going to go with a brown eyeliner in my waterline. For mascara, I have to use none other than the Essence Lash Like a Boss Waterproof Mascara. I'm obsessed with this one and by the way, I have now used it several times for extended periods of time and I love it. Not only does it give me spectacular looking lashes, but it doesn't transfer at all. I have not noticed any transfer. I do sometimes see a few little crumbles underneath my eyes, but whenever I have seen that, it's like three to four little like black specks and they go like this and they immediately go away. No problem at all. So I love it. I still highly recommend it and it is super, super affordable. So let me apply the mascara. I'll be right back because this takes a while. <laughs> back with the mascara on, let's move on to bronzer. I'm going to use this Tower 28 cream bronzer right here. I love this one. It looks so natural. It blends like an absolute dream and it is very easy to apply. So with my refer number 31 brush, I grabbed a little bit and I'm just going to buff it on starting with my cheek and moving on to the forehead just take a look immediately at like how good this bronzer is it blends out so easily and it gives this amazing warmth to the skin while still looking very natural i love it i knew that tower 28 wouldn't disappoint with this one because i'm a huge fan of the formula of their blushes that are like these and this bronzer having no shimmer in it or anything like that looks amazing doing the jawline next 
and I'm going to do a little bit right here on this side of my neck so just like this the bronzer is blended and I just realized that the blush that I wanted to use today will not match so I'll probably switch it this is a blush that I have been really loving lately the one from house labs it has this amazing texture to it it looks flawless on the skin and i really really love it but i don't think it'll match my eye because my eye look is a very cool toned eye look today and this is a bit too warm for it so i'm going to use a different one that i've also been loving and that is the cream blush from the nessa myricks in the shade rose and brunch i'm going to use the same number 31 brush from refer and I'm just going to pat it right here on my cheekbone all the way up to the eye area up here and blend it. Okay, this looks incredible, I love it. And I just realized that I forgot to bronze my nose. So let me go back and do that real quick. Same brush, I don't really do a lot of detailed nose contouring. I just wanna make the tip of my nose a little slimmer <laughs> so with the sides of my refer number 31 brush i'm going to add bronzer to the sides of the tip of my nose just like this now my nose matches the rest of my face and we are almost done with this makeup look for lip liner i'm going to use the moira cosmetics lip liner in posh pink really affordable lip liner and i love the way it applies i wish it was a bit more cool toned but they probably do have a more cool toned one and i just didn't pick it lip liner is applied and for lipstick i need to put on no other than the hourglass lipstick that i tried this month i love this one so much i have mine in the shade alpine and it is the best not only is it a perfect match for this lip liner <laughs> But also, these hourglass lipsticks have the most incredible, creamy, comfortable to wear formula. I love them. So the makeup is done. Take a look right here how everything turned out. I really love the way everything is looking today. The eyes look spectacular. The complexion looks really good. I don't know if I loved every combination of products that I did today, but it turned out good at the end. I will say, I don't think I'll be wearing this primer with this foundation anymore i'm going to reserve this primer for foundations that look a little bit too dry on me because this laura mercier foundation already looks glowy and natural on my skin i don't think i needed to add the extra um glowy hydrating primer underneath at least not to the extent of this one i felt like it was a bit too much i was a bit too greasy before i applied the powders i don't think that these two combine well for me i did love this primer for more matte looking foundations like the kvd one or the gucci one and i do love this foundation for when i'm not using that primer and i want to look very natural <laughs> that was the only thing that i'm a bit not sure about everything else I loved and I love the way everything turned out. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this full face of makeup that I have been loving lately. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And remember, if you're interested in buying any of the items that I tried in today's video, to please shop the links in my description box down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching today's video. And I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.